Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be doing a video on the Chieftain T95. In fact, I'm going to do a few videos on the tanks that all copped a bit of a buff in patch 6.5, the Revelries, the WZs. Uh, the Chieftain is the first cab off the rank, though. I'm on record as saying that this is a good tank, and I still think it's a good tank. In fact, I'd be hard-pressed to fight those uh, kind of sentiments given the amount of buffs it just got. And I'll run you through those buffs first and foremost. Let's have a talk about the balance changes here. Uh, it got an armor buff on the turret and the coupler had an armor buff, uh, 50 to 102 millimeters, which seems really good. Um, the average AP pen was changed to 212, which is another 10 millimeters of pen. Uh, and the average pen of the APCR was changed from 238 to 265, which is amazing, hey. Uh, the gun dispersion was also decreased from 0.345 to 0.326, and dispersion on turret traverse was decreased. Now, all those things are bloody lovely. And the numbers on the tank for me are gorgeous, and they've always been good. Um, my numbers in this tank are 77% win rate over 57 battles, just over 77%, in fact. Um, it wins a lot. It only does 1,749 damage, and... I want to delve into this a little bit deeper on why I have an issue playing the tank. And it just, it's just, for me, it's just a bit of a boring tank. Um, you can see the way I'm playing it here. This might seem crazy. I'm not going to do a lot of damage. I've got an object 704 in spawn and I'm going to sit here and I'm holding up their entire flank by using the object 704. I'm basically just, I'm just stopping them from progressing. <coughs> and we're going to win this game. Uh, and we're not going to really win it because I'm in a Chieftain T95. 704 makes a huge error here and moves up. That's a big error. And it's one of the reasons why we don't hold him and win easier. But he still did a good job. He was in spawn. I used him well. And the tank I'm using, it's not really the, the Chieftain T95 that wins this. Because I do very, very little damage. I'm doing, what, 1,600 damage? I'm trying to get out of there before the T30 reloads. Don't quite do it. It's just good play. And what I, I saw when I went back through the videos of this tank was there was nothing that stood out as amazing. I just tend to win because for some reason in this tank, I play very, very sensibly. And it is the sensible shoes tier eight heavy. It does well when it gets free shots on tier eight heavies like IS-3s and... IS-5s and things like that because it does have a reasonably good gun and it does have enough penetration to get the job done on those tanks and it does have good mobility, 40 kilometers an hour. But I compare this to, say, a Carnarvon. When I'm playing the Carnarvon, it's another low alpha tank, but its turret is impervious to all the bad stuff. Uh, and that's important. And I'm going to show you a, a little clip here of me on Dead Rail. You can see I'm just showing you this because I want to illustrate how I played for the team there and it was a good way to play and we win because of it. And it's one of the reasons why this tank wins an inordinate amount for me. Like if I just played this, I would have crap damage per game and great win rate, which is kind of a bit boring. It seems like it, it doesn't really ever go up here for me. It doesn't really ever go down there for me. It just sticks around the middle. And that's kind of boring. Um, there is another Chieftain T95 on the other side. There is an idea in Blitz called surplus value, in anything called surplus value. For instance, the turret armor on a T32 is surplus value. It's got so much turret armor, there's nothing really in its tier that can pen it on the turret, but it's got enough turret armor so that there's nothing really in tier 10 that can pen it straight through the turret. So what you end up with is a situation where all that turret armor is just surplus value. The Chieftain T95 is the exact opposite. That hatch got buffed to 102 millimeters. It's still not enough to stop an AP round. It just isn't. Um, it's like buffing a weak point so that it's less weak, but still there's nothing at the tier that's going to struggle to pen it. What it really changed was the amount of HE that could be penned uh, on the, the thing. You had to have, like, I don't know if you know this, but most of the 150 millimeter guns will have 96 millimeters of HE pen. So they no longer can just go straight through the turret. It doesn't really change anything, though, in the terms of the playstyle. Tier 9 and Tier 8 have a lot of big bopping tanks that can still rock and sock your turret. And your alpha is 225, which isn't huge. And you've got 10 millimeters of 10 degrees of gun depression. So if I was running a tank that had 10 degrees of gun depression at this tier and it had low alpha, 
I think I was running a tier eight medium. There are so many tier eight mediums with these kind of stats. Um, the or, or at least good good alpha, gun depression, low alpha. The t, the fifty nine pattern, um, for instance. The uh, the Reveler Reese is actually not that tank. The Panther two, the Indian. Um, the STA-1, the Centurion Mark 1, the Pershing, uh, the 69, the 95A2. These are all tanks that have that kind of feel about them. But they've got, on the whole, better mobility than this tank does. They don't have as many hit points, but that play style exists. And that's the kind of play style I use. Look at these. I do not advance forward. I'm just playing really sensible shoes, World of Tanks Blitz. I am not taking shots because I know that there's a waffle tractor up there that can hit me if I extend too far out. And then I go out and get a shot there. But I mean, the real hero here is the ST1 that you can see there because he's got a big turret, but he's got so much armor on it that he can advance the cause. I was talking to uh, Candius and the boys in the Telegram chat, the patron Telegram chat about this tank. And what I find is that the Carnarvon, for instance, has low alpha, but it's got a strong turret. So you can go forward and bounce shots reliably with the turret and the gun mantlet. Whereas with the 95, the Chieftain 95, I feel like I go forward, I'll take a shot and I'll hit that shot, but I've got to fully reset my camo before I can pop out and take another shot. Because if I don't, any kind of tank with half a brain can pen that hatch. Now, for all that, it keeps winning. So it's hard to whinge about it because the thing I think that the 95 does is it forces me to play like with a brain. It forces me to not hit point trade because no one in their right mind hit point trades with a low alpha tank like this. Its DPM is quite reasonable. Its DPM is just you know, is fine and dandy. The DPM is no problems whatsoever. 2300 is solid DPM for a tier eight heavy. It's not as good as the Carnarvon's 2554, but you all know how much I love the Carnarvon and not everyone loves the Carnarvon like I do. And that's fair enough. And obviously if I'm successful all the time with these gun depression tanks, then there's got to be something about my play style that utilizes them. And for all that, I mean, that's a Chieftain T95 caught in a horrible position. You can't really side scrape effectively in this tank. You can get bounces. So, I mean, you're going to see me set up here. There's a standard B over there. And this is a long side scrape out from that wall. And it's not really about trying to offensively side scrape to a great degree. It's just keeping a good angle so that you get bounces like that. Um, and that's, that's just good play. And you can see when I play this tank, I understand its limitations. And because of those limitations and the fact that it has such a specific play style where it can succeed... I think I just play it better. I just, I, I don't really try to play like a bully. I try to play like a finesse player and I try and pick things up and that, I should have fought APCR there. And that really makes me um, be more successful in it. Uh, I, there's just no other way of talking about it in any other terms. The tank, the tank is a little bit vanilla for me. It's one of the reasons why, even though I play it well, I'm not. I don't really care about win rate. Like I, I don't really play for win rate. I play for content. I play for fun games and exciting moments. And with that in mind, I don't really see myself playing tanks like the Chieftain T95 very often at all. In fact, I'm going to do a video. The the tank I play the most at Tier 10 at the moment um, is the Jaegeru. I love playing the Jaegeru. The Jaegeru is so much fun. I miss a shot in the Jag Tiger there. I could have got probably snuck another shot in. Um, the Jaegeru for me is so much fun because it's massive alpha and it has the armor profile to actually bring that alpha to bear up close and personal. And to me, that is so much more entertaining. Uh, but I also think with this tank that the kind of person that's going to buy it as a gold tank um, isn't really the kind of person that's going to do well in it. A lot of people struggle with this because they buy it as less experienced players. And to get the most out of this vehicle, you really need to know what you're doing. Like the game's over here. So I'm just like, yeah, no worries. I'll, I'll blow all the hit points I've saved dancing around like a pussycat on getting a handle on this Yag Tiger. Like, great bounce. Love those bounces. Uh, didn't deserve it, but you know, we'll take it. Um, and we'll track 
please, let's get a track. Uh, he's not fooled. He's not fooled. The Yag Tiger Rooney, he knows what's up, but he's going to get double tracked here, and that's all there is to it. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get where I'm coming from this tank. It got buffed, but the buffs were kind of things that weren't really a problem with the tank. It wasn't an issue that it, its dispersion wasn't an issue. Its pen wasn't an issue. It was, it's the turret. It's a hatch. Look after yourselves, and as always, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.